Welcome everybody to the Minecraft Short Stories 100k Special. This is special because, like how I said before, my podcast has reached 100,000 all-time plays. In all honesty, as of the time of recording, my podcast is at 116,000, but this will still be a 100k special. But, before all the stories, quizzes, and more, we have the previous poll to go over. Okay, so the poll question was, when and what was the first Minecraft update? With 3,019 submit answers, the options are as followed. A. 4 minutes, there was a game-breaking bug, 39% voted for this. B. 1 month, added creative mode, voted for this, 23%. 6 months, added multiplayer, 14% voted for this. Or, the final option, D. 4 months, added survival mode, and 24 voted for this. But, before I tell you the answer, I have a shout out for all the people who participated on Apple Podcasts and put what they thought down in the reviews. So, a shout out goes to That Baba King, Ya Boy Spaghetti, One BB Gun, Your Biggest Axolotl Fan, Connor F7, and Another Guy's Opinion. Thank you all for the participation. If you also want a shout out and you're on Apple Podcasts, just participate in the newest poll in the comments below. Okay, let's get right into the story. Next story is called The Venture to the Overworld, and is by Cool Cat 1925. I stared in awe up at the towering obsidian structure before me. A baby hoglin I had known since spawn at my side. Why are we here again? I grumbled, following a purple particle with my eyes as it floated lazily around the terrifying portal looming over me. Hey, what are we gonna do with you, bud? My dad tapped me lightly on the head with the flat of his golden sword, shaking his head. We're gonna see where it goes, remember? I squealed, my ears flapping as I danced around with Zog, my favorite hoglin. Ooh, an adventure! My father smiled, then he was all business. He turned around to glare at the rest of the piglin tribe, who were grunting and snorting in casual chit-chat, completely neglecting the mystical purple particles shimmering in the almost black rocks with specks of violet. Chief Razik cleared his throat, demanding the attention of the present piglins. The moment they looked up, Razik Porcorvo, my dad, launched into a long lecture of how important it was that they protected their crimson forest, cursed soul forest, and that in order to do that, they needed to explore. He didn't elaborate m- too much on why they needed to explore, but the stern look in his eyes caused no one to, to question his decision. Pointing excitedly with his sharp, deadly sword at the portal, he shouted, Come on! before sprinting towards it, grabbing my hand and jumping in before you could say, Warped Fungus. The last thing I saw was Zog galloping in after me, and my view was enshrouded with purple particles and everything faded to black. Gasping and coughing, I sprang to my feet, swinging my head wildly from one side to another, trying to remember what was happening and where it was. I shielded my eyes to look at the owner of the paw on my shoulder. Are you all right? My dad asked, concerned. Getting to my feet, I dusted myself off, squinting out a small square of light high up in the curtain of blue. I'm okay, but what is that? I'm not sure, Porkchop. Why don't we go explore this strange cluster of buildings? My dad started towards a blocky shape that I couldn't make out with the bright light reflecting in my eyes. Well, what are you waiting for? Come on, you buffoons. He yelled at the hoglins who had just sprung from the portal. Dazed, they shielded their eyes from the great lantern above us and stumbled towards Chief Razak as he jogged off towards the clump of buildings, eager for adventure. I jumped on Zog's back and chased after him, determined not to be left behind. As we sprinted towards the buildings, I felt myself twitch. Except it was on the inside. My bones shook, and I felt some of my skin on my face become lighter and peel off. Reaching up, I felt my face. It was normal. So what was happening to me? The moment I touched the other side of my face, I felt panic spread through my body. It was bony. Beneath me, I felt Zog jerk. His skin began to rot, just like mine. Dad, I called, but my voice was different. It was a much higher pitch. Far ahead of me, my dad froze. Who are you and what have you done with my son? He demanded as I caught up to him. I tried to answer, but he couldn't understand me. Then he began the transformation. Finally, I recognized him. He was a zombified piglin. That man. Oh no! No wonder the overworld has never been explored before. I cried as my mind, everything, fell into place. Zog has become a zombified hoglin, and I was a baby zombified piglin. If we returned home, we would be killed. Already, the tribe behind us were beginning to transform and the untransformed ones were pulling out their golden swords and a battle was breaking out. This is disastrous, Razik muttered, shaking his head at the fight. Then he turned his head and continued toward the village. Dad, I called, pulling on his arm. Are we going to have to live in the overworld? I'm afraid so, Porkchop. I'm afraid so.
Okay, everyone, it is time for a quiz, and the quiz question for today is, which version of Minecraft added the end, as in the end dimension? Okay, so the options are A, Java Edition Beta 1, B, Java Edition 1.2.1, C, Java Edition 1.0.0, or D, Minecraft Xbox 360. And as always, people on Spotify, you can participate on the poll I will set up, and it will be out when this podcast episode is released. And for the people on Apple Podcasts, if you want to participate and maybe get a shout out, put your answer in the reviews for this podcast. For the mob trivia segment today, in this episode I have decided to do it on the magma cube. A magma cube is a hostile mob found in the nether. A magma cube behaves similarly to a slime, but jumps higher and deals more damage. They spawn in areas of the nether at all light levels. The space they spawn in must be clear of solid obstructions and liquids. Due to being inherently fireproof, magma cubes can spawn in magma blocks. Nether wastes. Magma cubes spawn uncommonly in nether wastes in groups of 1 to 4. Nether fortresses. Magma cubes spawn commonly in nether fortresses in groups of 4. Basalt deltas. Magma cubes spawn commonly in basalt deltas in groups of 2 to 5. Spawners. Magma cube spawners generate in the treasure room of Mastions. The magma cube drops. A large magma cube can drop 0 to 1 magma cream in 4 experience. A small magma cube can drop 0 to 1 magma cream and 2 experience. A tiny magma cube drops 1 experience or 1 frog light if killed by a frog. That is the 1.19 beta. The maximum amount of magma cream that you can get from killing a magma cube is 1 per level of looting. A magma cube moves by hopping at intervals of 40 to 120 ticks, which is 2 to 6 seconds. A magma cube seeks out players or an iron golem. Magma cubes cannot be hurt by fall damage or burning, and are not slowed down by lava. They can swim upward in lava and leap above its surface. Their jump height depends on their size. When a magma cube is killed, it splits into two to four smaller magma cubes. Tiny magma cubes disappear when killed, like other mobs. If you have reached this part of the podcast, thank you for listening. That was the 100k special. Thank you for everyone for helping this podcast to get to this point and for all the support. See you guys in the next episode.